Hello and welcome to Signature TV News Highlight for this Monday. I am Brenda Etta. As four-month special investigative panel begins probe, the Inspector General of Police, IGP Usman al Khalibaba, has recommended the immediate suspension of DCP Abakiari, the head of the Police Intelligence Response Team, IRT, from the service of the Nigeria Police Force, pending the outcome of an ongoing internal investigation touching on him. This was disclosed in a statement signed by C.P. Frank Mba, Force Public Relations Officer, on Sunday. According to Mba, the IGP in his letter to the Police Service Commission dated 31st July 2021 noted that the recommendation for the suspension of the officer is in line with the internal disciplinary processes of the force. The IGP further noted that the suspension is also expected to create an enabling environment for the NPF Special Investigation Panel to carry out its investigations into the weighty allegations against DCP Abakari without interference. The suspension is without prejudice to the constitutional presumptions of innocence in favor of the officer, the statement said. Meanwhile, the IGP has reaffirmed the commitment of the force to the rule of law and assured the public of the sanctity of the probe as well as the absolute respect for the rights and privileges of the officer throughout the period of the investigations. The President's National Association of Nigerian Students, Sunday Asefun, on Monday called on the federal government and the Academic Staff Union of Nigerian Universities to arrive at a common ground in the interest of students to avert industrial action. ASU had last week threatened to resume the industrial action is suspended in December 2020 over the federal government's alleged failure to honor many of the agreements it signed with the lecturers. The NANS president in a statement titled NANS pleads with ASU, FG, to find common ground to avert another industrial action, said, since the inception of this democratic dispensation in 1999, ASU has now gone on accumulated strike for over five years. Kano State Governor Abdullahi Gandije, the Minister of Works and Housing Babatunde Fashila and Senator Rocha Sokoracha are among prominent Nigerians expected to converge in Abuja to discuss the sustainability of Nigeria's unity. The three are among several leaders expected as discussants at a one-day conference organized by the All Progressives Congress Press Corps scheduled to hold at the Sheraton Hotels and Towers Abuja on Thursday. This was contained in a statement titled National Unity, Ganduje, Okorocha, Fashola, others to discuss sustainability of Nigeria, signed by the chairman, Conference Organizing Committee, Babatunde Ayeni, in Abuja on Sunday. According to the organizers, the conference was organized in light of recent separatist agitations among groups and individuals across Nigeria. The statement read in part, the public lecture series is aimed at providing workable template options for effective good governance and serve as a medium for the deepening of democratic norms and institutions by engaging key players in politics, public administration, academia and economy. Reports and suggestions on the lecture will be made available to the party and interested members of the public. World energy giant Shell has named Eloho Iboni as the managing director of its Nigeria deepwater business. Shell Nigeria Exploration and Production Company Limited, SNEPCO, with effect from 1st August 2021. Eloho is the first female to lead a Shell exploration company in over 60 years of Shell's operations in Nigeria. She succeeds Bayo Ojulari, who retired on July 31st, 2021, after five years as SNEPCO's MD and over 30 years of service in the Shell Group. Until this appointment, Eloho was the Bonga Asset Manager responsible for overseeing end-to-end -end production delivery for Nigeria's Pioneer Deepwater Floating Production, Storage and Offloading, FPSO Vessel, Bonga and Offshore Assets that has produced over 900 million barrels of oil since it began operations in 2005. Eloho's appointment is a product of diligence, competence, and commitment to the Shell ideals and core values amid our strong focus on diversity and inclusion. Shell's Senior Vice President for Nigeria, Manu De Jong, said, We take pride in our intention of being one of the most diverse and inclusive organizations in the world. 
and focus on further improving inclusion and representation in critical areas, including gender. Nigeria's Blessing Oborodudu has booked her place in the semi-finals of women's wrestling event at the ongoing Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Powerful Oborodudu defeated Azerbaijani's Elis Manalova and Mirim Zuhamanazarova of Kyrgyzstan to advance to her first Olympic semi-finals. While she defeated Elis Manalova of Azerbaijan, 13-2 to reach the quarterfinal. The impressive Nigerian wrestler beat Zuhomana Zarova to advance to the semi-final of the women's wrestling freestyle 68kg event. She will, however, face Mongolia's Betesek Zorun Zobold in the semi-finals. Safety and security begin with you. Be patriotic. Report any suspicious activity to law enforcement agencies. Please stay safe. That's the Signature TV News Highlight. For more details, visit www.signaturetv.org. And please, do join us later in the evening for Signature TV News updates. On behalf of my producer, Damilola Abudu, thanks for watching. I am Brenda Etta.